competition and cooperation are opposites that cohere. Or sometimes I will say these are not opposites. They're actually very much enmeshed in the fabric of the world. And both of those ways of saying it are uh, good enough, but it's sort of getting at this semi-paradoxical nature of reality. So I'm going to try to explain this using two game theory classic games, The Battle of the Sexes and The Prisoner's Dilemma. So let's start with The Battle of the Sexes. And the basic setup here is you have a couple who is trying to decide where to go. And they want to end up at the same place. So the cooperative part of this game is that they either both want to go to the ballet together or both want to go to football together. But the point is they're cooperating to avoid the off equilibrium, these uh, spots where they go to separate places. They care about being together. So that's cooperation. But at the same time, she prefers ballet, he prefers football. So within that cooperative game of deciding where do we go together, um, there is a winner and a loser between the two different equilibria. So uh, yeah, if you solve this game, there are two equilibria. One is preferred by one person, one is preferred by another. So baked into this game is both cooperation to keep out of the off equilibrium and competition over which uh, of the two equilibrium they end up in. And this situation maps onto all kinds of scenarios when you're trying to make a decision in your workplace about uh, what project you're going with and you have two factions both preferring a different direction. It's the same exact setup. You see this really all over the place. And I have an in-group, out-group diagram over here because this same principle is going to operate at the level of the in-group and out-group. Within the in-group, people compete between each other, but they they also cohere and congeal as an in-group to protect their in-group's game from the out-group coming in and destroying it. And the proverb goes, me against my brother, me and my brother against my cousin, me, my brother, and my cousin against the world. And it's kind of this setup where at every level, whether you zoom in or zoom out, you are going to have this mixture of competition and cooperation going on. And the two examples I like to give as they relate to economics are, for one, within a firm. Within a firm, you have competing groups that both want their department to grow bigger, that both want their ideas implemented, they want the financing to go to their department. And somebody in management has to balance a budget and they can only fund one of the two projects and have, they have to decide w which department, is it this department or that department? So there's competition between the departments. But those departments are also cooperating on behalf of the corporation itself, which has its own game. So if something comes in and threatens the existence of the corporation, it's going to go out of business. If uh, something doesn't happen, the two departments that are competing, they come together and congeal to make sure that the, the business survives. And even if there is no existential threat to the corporation, the two departments are cooperating to grow the size of the pie, to grow the size and the profitability of the organization. Because if the organization can get more profit, even if all they care about is their little project expanding and their department getting more people to be underneath the leaders in that department, if that's all they care about, they still want the organization to expand. Because if there's lots more profit coming in, then the manager has a bigger budget and can can maybe fund both departments rather than forcing the departments to fully compete in a zero-sum game. Now what about the prisoner's dilemma? How does the prisoner's dilemma demonstrate competition and cooperation cohering and working together? And there's so many scenarios that map onto the prisoner's dilemma. One of them is collusion. You have two businesses that are competing, but they would kind of like to both keep their prices high rather than undercut each other's prices. Because if they can artificially keep the prices high and sustain that collusion, of course that benefits both of them. So they're cooperating to try to keep their prices high, but they're competing to undercut one another. Which of those wins out? And with the prisoner's dilemma, you have the cooperation is going to be keeping your prices high. The competing is undercutting your, your competitor. And so the Nash equilibrium here is both compete and undercut one another, but they both recognize they would have been better off if they'd cooperated. But if you add time into this game and make this a repeated game so that the businesses, they can keep their prices high this year, keep their prices high the next year, they cooperate over time and this game is repeated over and over, you can actually get a situation that sustains the 
uh, the cooperative outcome here, even though this is not Nash in a one-off game. So you're adding this other dimension of repeating the game, and it's flipping the whole game from competition winning it to cooperation winning it. And the bigger point here, though, is that competition and cooperation, they are intermeshed. If the leaders of the corporation can somehow enforce their collusion, their cooperative outcome, by saying, I'm going to get back at you if you don't keep your prices high, if you can sort of add other um, other incentives into the situation, then you can sustain the cooperative equilibrium even when the competition is sort of hanging there as a uh, as a temptation to do in the short run. So my hope is you get a sense for, wait a second, cooperation and competition, these are not opposites. They're interwoven in game theory, everywhere game theory appears. And I just went through two of the classic games. You can do the same process where you're thinking about how competition and cooperation work and are enmeshed in other games as well. Game of Chicken, the Assurance Game, all of those have both of these kind of interacting.